Well, good day to you all and you join me uh, at London Bridge and there's the Shard in the background as you can see look at that it's about a thousand feet high and you've got Guy's Hospital right there now just to let you all know uh, we're actually parking down at London Bridge on my regular route at the moment but there's something going on on the north side of the Thames so there's a lot of road work so we can't go to Aldgate so we're parking here just near London Bridge a quiet place actually there's a tunnel there and I could probably get a double decker bus in 16 foot free but obviously we're not driving our bus through there and this is my bus today a nice uh, 2007 bus I've got Enviro very nice uh, with all the wheelchair stickers on as well and the uh, buses London buses logo so here we are terminate at London Bridge instead of Allgate my bus has got an emergency exit today not many old buses have these and the coolant seems okay I've got my shorts on because it's a very warm day. Anyway, my bus weighs 11,710 kilos, which is a lot lighter than the other Enviro buses I drive. You see, obviously, the metal bar as well is bent. That's the bar that protects the bus if it gets damaged with the trees, it comes into contact with the trees. That's been bent, you can see that. Anyway, there's no toilets around here for us, which is a shame, but the nice person here at the Underdog Bar, which is uh, art music, is allowing us bus drivers to use the toilet, which is very nice of them. So go, uh, if, you know, if you fancy a drink or something to eat in London, check out the Underdog, which is here. It's basically uh, on Crucifix Lane, which is not far off Tooley Street, in between Tower Bridge and London Bridge. You can see from that it's the Rugby World Cup. Yep, England is still in as far as I know. We're not out yet. Hopefully we can try and win it this time. It's been what 1966, it's a long time, isn't it? Now actually when we set off from here we, we actually drive through a tunnel, not this particular tunnel, there's a tunnel down there we actually drive through. Um, we have to take it nice and slow because there are speed bumps uh, and we have to drive about 10 miles an hour because uh, obviously you can damage the underside of your bus if you do drive too fast over speed bumps. Well, anyway, this is a lovely bus. I do like these old Enviros because uh, there's plenty of cab space and they're just very simple and basic to drive. And another great thing is we've actually got a foot pedal. Look at that, there's a foot pedal to open and close the door. But we've already got buttons to open and close the door here. So uh, this is just something, an extra that we've got, which is quite nice actually. Anyway, uh, this bus seats 64 or 63 if you're a wheelchair, if there's a wheelchair user, standing 27. So it's a total of 90, 90, 91 seats altogether. Nice clean bus because it's a Saturday and there's no newspapers out. One seat here. Remember, this is one of the first Enviros where you have either two seats or nothing there, and you could have a seat here. Or is that on the older Volvos? No, there's different types of buses. I'm getting mixed up. But yeah. And the emergency exit. Uh, 
and here we go it says Suffolk Street I don't think we are on it though anyway lovely view here isn't that nice it's a lovely Saturday morning well no it's midday now everyone's waking up from the Friday night having a good long sleep after a long week at work but I'm in the middle of my seven days so uh, yeah look at the shard a thousand feet high I think the viewing viewing point is about somewhere here I think it's about 800 foot high you've got a viewing point at the top of the shard I think it costs about £30 to go up the shard, but let me know in the comments, uh, it might have changed. Oh, there's a no smoking sign, you don't get them on buses. We stopped that a long time ago. Anyway, this particular Enviro, I think has about 10 seats on the left. Sometimes they have 10 or 11, so there's one, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10 seats. So there's actually more leg room on this model than on the others. Plenty of leg room. <coughs> yeah, there's plenty of leg room. There's loads of space. But not as much on the right. This is very crammed. Yeah, this is very crammed. Plenty of leg room. Now we've had um, a lot of these old Enviro 400 buses um, on my regular route because of the, um, uh, I think with Lewisham having new buses now, the new emission regulations, these those buses that were on the Lewisham bus route for example um, have been put on other routes which obviously the emissions on my route are not as, um, I, don't think, I don't think they have to have brand new buses so that's why we've got these old 11 year old buses on here. Well, I'm due out in a few minutes. So uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Um, old Enviros, this is in our oldest bus, 2007. In fact, you've got an emergency exit at the back as well. Yeah. Can't exactly have that when it's open, when, it's, when you're driving. But anyway. Anyway, as always, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel Double Decker Anton. Please like and share this video. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye bye for now. Have a lovely day.